Hello and welcome. This is chapter 2 for Mendix Basics. In this chapter, we are mainly focused on associations between entities. We will create some overview pages and new added pages for the crude applications. After these pages, of course, we can add some data to our application. And we will create some validation on page and we will create some validations on our uh, entities. Okay, from the previous lesson, we have just only one person entity. Let us check, which has name, age, gender, and birthday attributes with the different types. But uh, this entity is not used anywhere on the application. Just right click and find usages. You will see there are no uh, usage on it. So there is no data, of course, in our database. If I want to create some crude uh, pages, I would strongly recommend to right-click and generate overview pages. Mendix uh, is building standard overview and new edit pages on it, and also on standard overview page there are some search and delay buttons on it. Let us see. I will click uh, and drag and drop to this personal overview page to my home page to see uh, my persons and to add and or delete persons for my application. I click rerun after application ready it will be open on the browser it will refresh on my browser yeah you see I click directly to the person overview there are no person here like this, I can add some people on it. Okay. What I'm going to do is I will delete all of them and I will add some more advanced domain model structure on it. For example, think about a new entity which is named club and also name attribute, for example, football club or basketball club. In this part, uh, we need to create association between these entities. When I click one of the entity, you see there are some association tabs here, but it's empty. With clicking new, you can create association uh, with person to club, okay? You see this button. There is a wire uh, connected between club and person. This wire is in, in default uh, one to many. It's called. It's one and the star with the many. Uh, there are two type of availability is here. One to one, one to many and many to many. If I choose the one to one, one person object has only uh, associated with one club object. Which is mean one club, for example, think about the football club has only one person. Also, one person is on uh, choose only one club at the same time. But if I choose one to many as a standard, one club has different persons. For example, person X, Y, and Z could attend this club. Okay, but what about the third one? It's called also one many to many. In this associated option, a person also could uh, attend different clubs and also different clubs has uh, associated with different persons, which is uh, actually good with the real-time scenarios, but we will cover one too many as a basics for this chapter, okay? If you don't like the wire connection on it, you can create this connection with, with drag and drop between these entities, okay? Now I can create, generate overview pages with person and clicking club. By doing this, you are also connecting with the entity menu on it, okay? Which is more good and suitable for our application. Also, let us check Mm 
now application is starting going to do this you see there's a club uh, area is okay here for example prog programming club football club like this and our person John could attend program club if I create a new uh, person with Jessica name which is 24 with date time also she is attending also the programming club right John is going to the programming club and Jessica is going to do <coughs> programming club also what if if I want to create uh, profile pictures for uh, this persons let's going back to the domain model and I also create a new entity which is called profile image to make this image entity you need to generalize from the system built-in uh, image entity for the files you can also use the file documents but in this uh, in this requirement I will choose the image and make associations like this but I choose one-to-one -one association which is mean one person has only one profile image also uh, I want to create all of the uh, overview pages from the scratched what I want is just late and pages and folder you see there are some errors on it because uh, this button is showing page but the page does not uh, exist anymore just generate all the pages again with clicked three of them and check again our database should remain same with John and Jessica and with the clubs we will see yeah refreshing you see John and Jessica with clubs is existing profile image for person John I could choose this picture for the Jessica I will choose this picture also adding data is done then the validation for example uh, if I cr want to create a person without giving a name now it's uh, it can no it can't be like this it's empty record I want to uh, make some logic on it and to make some validation rules on it to not add empty records without name or without age or without the gender options okay there are two types of uh, validation on it the first one is from the page if I click and go to the uh, new edit page that I want to make this validate and choose uh, attribute that I want for example name double click on it you see there's a validation part here uh, which is type is now so there is no validation on yet but we can create some validations for example I choose the required name is required And we run to application by doing this I want uh, I couldn't add uh, a person entity without a name okay 
but of course I can add some names you see I can I am able to create a person without age but uh, with name I will delete the empty record this is the <clears throat> page validation uh, page validations should uh, bind with the attributes you see in H there is no validation on it other type of validation is the domain model validation going to the domain model choose an entity select the validation rules top and click add button here then choose for example name and I already make this in required from the page but I can choose the type as a unique of course there are some other types like regex for emails for example but unique is good for me name must be unique this is the, also the error message name must be unique if I uh, also after the edit validations you see there are some uh, green ticks occurs in our attributes I want to add more validations on it for example gender gender must be chosen these times of validations uh, prevents me to the entry course on my database okay then test it okay I'm waiting yes refreshing means replication is starting again choose person and just choose uh, click to new and just click save the name is required is throwing from the page so it, uh, page is throwing this error okay but what if I choose John here you see the first the gender uh, occurs then if I choose also the gender John name must be unique which is validation for the unique that I create but if I put a one on it I'm able to create what if John 2 without choosing gender also it will uh, Want it won't add this attribute to my database okay this is it now this is the chapter 2 we will cover more topics on the next chapters let's stay in tune and I hope you enjoy if you have any questions please comment it down thank you and see you